record. Hi, my name is Gustavo Ariza, and today we are going to review what is a SaaS tool or static application security testing. This is a tool we're using in cybersecurity for detect vulnerabilities inside of the code lines or different programming languages. Uh, the purpose of this tool is using patterns and also, in, also using uh, mapping technology to detect vulnerabilities inside of the code line. No matter if the code programming languages is an interpreter or is NIC an interpreter or is a compiled programming language. Uh, it's different from the DAS because the DAS is more dynamic. It's for creating testing to automate the process or make click in a button or something related, for example, to make a web request in a web page to test the functionality. But the SAS is only scanning files, look the vulnerabilities inside of the files, and give you recommendations related to fix that ones or those ones. And like you can see, Uh, or you want to create more information, you can see this paper in Wikipedia or this article. And I am part of the reference. I am the reference 22. Well, the first thing to create a GTP is you need to go to chat GTP uh, in the section create a GTP. You are going to put a name on the GTP in this case, or for each, this video, we are going to using open source SAS. In the description, we are going to put something like found and remediate vulnerabilities. In the source code. An instruction is the, is like the label say for this text box is the instruction about what is the purpose of this? What is the instruction to use this GTP? We are going to put something generic. In this case, is uh, this GTP is for scanning vulnerabilities in the code line, uh, say a code line, so different source files or application. This is an example. But you can put there whatever you want. The conversation started is for uh, a message you are going to see when you open the GTP. Important here about the capabilities. Uh, we need web search because sometimes we are not go going to look more reference in internet. Canvas is not necessary in this case because we are not going to create nothing related to Canvas. DALI image generation for me is important because we are going to, sometimes you can create image related to the how the vulnerabilities affect the environment. But it's important to select the last one, co-interpreter in data analysis, because the SAS tool is a co-interpreter and also a data analysis related to the code he received. Now we are going to use or looking PDF papers about how secure vulnerabilities in Golan. Sometimes when you go is frequently in internet found Golan like Go, the nickname of Go, because Go is a simple way to say Golan programming language. You are going to look in internet papers, free open source papers, like in this case, one from OWAS, OWAS is Open Web Application Security Project. They create document for secure source Uh, programming languages. Download that document and after that you can see in details this document gives you the more common vulnerabilities, also the reference and examples. In this case, he is talking or he it is show us about GWT. This is for create session tokens in the Java technology. But the idea of this document is have description of the more common vulnerabilities. Examples and recommendations.
The last one you see was access control. You have password policies. And this is fine. If we don't load that, we we'll lock that in the GTP using the unlock files button. There, you are going to ask in the preview panel of the GTP, show me what documents or what information you have in your knowledge database. With this, we can verify the GTP is learning or the GTP have the communication or the access to the files for consultancy when it needed. He's searching, he say, perfect. We had the document Go languages, web application, security code, coding practices. And he told key of the document told about session management, such as tax control, the same things we saw when we review inside of the document. Now we need to go to select an example. Why an example or an example of what? We can use in also programming source files in this programming language. Of course, open source, like I said before, nothing you are going to use or damage something private um, documents. But for example, this is in GitHub is open source. <laughs> Go like example or an insecure technology or project. And we can take that, review it. In this case, this is working with certificates. And cryptography, we don't log that document. And after don't log, we can unlock that document also to our GTP. Because GTP can process files in different languages. With that, we already have an example of a bad programming related to the implementation of certificates. And with this, we are given to the GTP academic paper with the theory, and we are giving also files in that programming language related to how these practical examples are dangerous. Now we review again the database or the knowledge database of the GTP, and we have the two files. Now, we need to go to the, or searching, a complete insecure project of Golan. Because you can not only, you not only hack, not only hack the possibility, sorry, or unlock one independent file, you can also unlock a complete project. And with this, or well, this is going to be a more effective example to the GTP because GTP in the case can hack a real project with vulnerabilities and secure practices. And the SaaS open source tool we are creating is going to have more heuristic, more intelligent heuristic to find vulnerability. Because this is a stick files, the C files is log inside of the GTP in a section only reachable for the code interpreter. And that is perfect because the idea is this insecure project work for us in a way we can create the rule sets to match with the vulnerabilities. That means every time you are going to ask to this GTP about uh, this document is insecure, these uh, code lines are insecure, the SIG files is only going to be consulting when you put code lines there. And the code, code lines you put there is going to be matching, no matter if you're using our log files in the GTP for uh, consultancy, using the click button 
button you see in the bottom of the chat, that one, yes, this one, or you can copy and paste the code like, but the C files is a rule set and it's only be consulting when you pass directly code lines. Like you can see, with the three documents already, we like we scanning, we copy and paste an insecure project, uh, what project, no, uh, segment or code lines, and he replies to us with the names of the vulnerabilities, the number of Golan vulnerabilities, that is the G, G104, and the CWE. Well, that was all for the today video. If you want to get in more information, please follow the channel or contact me directly in the LinkedIn. Bye.